In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an epic callout titles with motion tracking like this. This kind of title animations are used to highlight a particular position. Here I'm going to use Hitfilm Express. Again, no plugins, no add-ons. This is going to be completely from scratch. Before going to proceed, make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Stay with me and let's begin. So we are on Hitfilm Express. First of all, you already know our first step is to make the composite shot. So here I'm going to set my composite shot of 5 second duration. And in this composite shot, I'm going to drag one video clip. As you can see, it's a video clip of a boat. So before going to make the callout titles, I'm going to drag the movement of this boat. Okay, so here I'm going to be using the technique of motion tracking. You simply go to the tracking panel. This is my tracking point. And I'm going to bring this tracking point to the tip of the boat. Okay, so before going to apply it, I'm going to make one point layer. Let's rename the point as I say a uh, controller. Okay, so now here I'm going to play this. As you can see, our tracking point is properly tracking the boat. Okay, fine. So here I'm going to change it to the point controller and hit the apply. So this is just a simple motion tracking video, which I already made it in past. If you have not watched my motion tracking video, you just go to the i button or in the description of this video. Okay. So now as you can see, our point is properly tracking the boat. So in my another composition, I already made the callout title animation. By the way, in my previous video, I have already uh, demonstrated how to make this kind of lower third or this kind of uh, title animation. If you have not watched the video, I recommend you to watch that video. It's already in my i button or in the description of this video. Okay. So now uh, in my main composite shot, I'm going to drag this uh, lower third animation. So as you can see here, I'm going to reduce the scale. You just place anywhere of the video footage. So I have to do one more thing here. I'm going to drag one motion graphic element over here. Okay, so I will explain you why I'm doing this. You can see here it is already in the green screen. So I have to remove it first. You simply go to the search of the effect and search the color difference key. I'm going to apply it in this particular motion graphics. Okay, now you simply go to the transform of this circular motion graphics and I'm going to reduce it, the scale. And now I'm going to place this to the tip of the boat. So basically this particular circular motion is used to highlight the boat actually. And now you can see here our circular element is not following the boat. So, so this is my circular motion you just make it parent to the controller. So now you can see here our circular motion is properly tracking the boat. Okay. Now here I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to make another point layer. Let's rename it as a say lower third pointer. Okay, and I'm going to just place it over here. So basically my concept is our line should follow from this particular point to this particular point and this collaborate animation should move from right to left a little bit. Okay, so to move this uh, lower third animation from right to left, uh, I'm going to apply the keyframing technique using the position parameter. So let's do it first. So you go to the lower third animation and here you uh, activate the keyframe of the position property and uh, just go to the end of the frame and change the value of the position. You select both the keyframes, activate manual bezier and let's see how it looks. It seems like it's moving a little bit fast so
so i think it's perfect now if you remember we also have a point layer in this lower third animation okay so according to the movement of this lower third animation i am going to also apply the movement of this particular point okay so you just go to the point layer and again activate the keyframe of the position property it should match actually with the uh, lower third animation okay it's perfect so now here and the magic will happen so we have to apply one string actually one straight line from this particular point to the to this particular point so how to do that so here i'm going to apply the lighting and electricity effect okay you simply go to the search bar of the effect and search lighting and electricity effect and apply in the video footage okay so now as you can see so you simply go to the parameters you simply go to the properties of the lighting and electricity effect you just close all the layers and this is my uh, lighting and electricity effect and you can see here there are so many parameters now if you go to the web scale and a twitch scale you simply reduce those values and you will get a complete a perfect straight line okay now if you see very closely this particular straight line so you can see at the beginning portion the line is little bit wider and at the ending portion the line is thinner okay but we want a solid constant line so how to make it so under the properties you can see here uh, so this is my lighting and electricity effect and you simply go to the start so in the start section and the value of width is one okay so that's fine and the end section also you have to fix you have to make it one so that our starting and ending should be exactly same so after making it one you can see here we have a uniform solid line from starting to the ending okay but still i want to make it a little bit thinner so uh, let's i think so 0.5 would be sufficient point uh, 0.55 it's okay now since i made it 0.55 or width now i have to make again 0.55 with the start parameter also okay so you go to the start and now here i'm going to change the value of the width say let's 0.55 okay i think it's perfect so in this line we have two particular points one is starting point and is ending point so you just drag the starting point to the here to this uh, tip of the board and end shoot to the tip of this lower third but here there is a trick under lighting and electricity effect now under the start property you have to change the layer to the zip circle mp4 zip circle mp4 means that is the circular motion graphic elements okay so let's change it similarly at the end position also you have to change the layer to the lower third pointer that means this particular position for the starting and this particular pointer for the ending okay now as you can see after ending it our position is disturbed so how to fix it so to fix it you again go to the start position and here the starting point make it zero as well as put the parameters for x and y make it zero so after making it zero you can see our starting point is automatically set at perfect position similarly at the ending position also you have to just make it zero and here you just make it zero okay so after setting all this you can see here our straight line is properly tracking the both boat as well as the lower third animation okay but here i'm going to uh, make one final step that is the line should start from this position to this position it means i'm going to animate this line because right now the line is completely solid there is no movement so for that purpose you again uh, go to the lighting and electricity effect and under the ending position you will see a property of growth so you simply reduce the value of this so after reducing it you can see the effect of animation of this line okay so just few frames when my callout appears you simply change it so you just activate the keyframes and again a uh, few frames back you just make it reduced i'm going to apply the manual base here so now you can see our line is properly animating also it is following the lower third animation as it is moving from right to left so here all the game is about the lighting and electricity effect how can you play with the parameters you have to know how to play with all this 
if you're still getting problem so just watch that portion repeatedly The fundamental principle behind this kind of title animation is motion tracking and the lighting and electricity effect. You have to know how to play with the parameters. Let me know in the comments how you found this tutorial. If you found it helpful, then smash the like button, leave your comments and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I will see you guys in the next video.